Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I think he's learning every day. He's, he's out here to work, and I think his attitude is tremendous. Uh, you know, he's going against Steph and Gabe, who are two uh, tough receivers to defend every day. And, and I think, uh, you know, he wins some of those, and then he goes back to the drawing board on some of those as well. So, um, you know, he continues to grow every day. <clears throat> yes. Uh, I think probably the only new one is uh, is Tim Settle will be out today uh, with some soreness in his, in his groin there. Yeah, I mean, obviously we'd like to have him out there for as much of the practices and reps you know, and total practices as we can. It's, you know, you always have injuries. I think in, in, in particular the first, first two weeks of camp is when you kind of get a spike, and, and that's what we're experiencing right now. Obviously, we'd love to have those guys out there and uh, building that togetherness, that continuity. Um, but I, as I mentioned last week, it is an opportunity for some other players to step in and, and show us what they've got as well. Talking to Mitch Morris at the end of last week, uh, he said that when Ed Oliver is lined up next to Von Miller, it's almost like cheating. Um, what is it that... Who said that? Mitch Moore said <laughs> the, um, What is it that Vaughn is able to do that you see will help Ed Oliver kind of progress and take that next step? Well, you know, I think it's just um, he continues to get better every year. Um, his... His attention to detail, his his approach uh, year round, I've seen that grow, which is natural for a player in their developing years. You know, years two, three, four in particular, and um, you know, I've I've seen him come in and camp uh, to camp in shape and um, with a hungry attitude and approach on a daily basis. So I, I think uh, I think he's off to a real good start today or this this camp. I'm sorry. What's the balance, especially with young offensive linemen, with wanting to get flexibility, but making sure that it doesn't necessarily take them off course of their development, as it's, it's probably hard enough to learn one spot up front and now maybe diversifying with even interior and outside? Yeah, that's a great question, John. Um, there's, there's two different philosophies probably with that, in particular with offensive line coaches. Some offensive line coaches and offensive coordinators say, this guy is only playing one position and... Um, and it's because of these reasons. And then uh, you see some of what we're doing out there, moving guys around. And, and I would say position flexibility helps everyone. Um, we know what happens during the course of a season where you need people to fill in, but it also helps guys' careers as well. Um, when you can do more than just one thing and, and, uh, and it helps the team uh, in a lot of ways on and off the field. So I think it's, I think it's a good thing. John, what's the message you give to the whole team, maybe even Josh specifically after what happened at the end of practice, the last play, gets a little bit heated. Yeah, you never want uh, a quarterback um, in particular involved in that. Um, um, you know, guys are competitors, so I, I'd, I'd rather have to tone it down than to, you know, kick him in the tail a little bit here and say, hey, let's let's get going, let's let's ramp up the intensity. Um, so, you know, again, but there's a there's definitely a delicate balance there, in particular with the quarterback involved. Sean, with Tommy Doyle, 6'8", <coughs> playing inside at times, and we've even seen Luke do the same. I mean, what, what are those conversations of, of both? You've almost have never, well, I've never seen someone that size playing on the interior and maybe making that decision to even try it out. Yeah, I think, it, again, it says a lot about um, just when you, when you talk about a guy like Tommy Doyle, Luke Tenuta, uh, and all the, all the linemen that have been in and out, outside and inside both, um, it says a lot about who they are as, as competitors, what they're willing to do for the team. Um, and again, you know, sometimes you, when you do that, you uncover something maybe that you didn't think you'd uncover, right? Whether, whether it's uh, with the team in terms of what we found or a player saying, hey, I've never done this before, but I, I kind of like it, uh, either going inside to outside or outside to inside. Is that something that Josh's size allows you to do just because he's so big he can, he can still see over those guys? Um, <laughs> I, you know, again, you're, you're talking about just trying to find good football players and 
Um, obviously, having a taller-ish quarterback helps in that regard. Um, but I, I wouldn't make too much of a deal of it, really. Sean, Sean, Sean Isaiah, everybody knows her on here. Him as a person, his personality, just love him here. Have you noticed that he kind of took another step this offseason into maybe a more, in terms of his confidence and his role potentially in the offense? Just what have been your impressions of him this year? Uh, Confidence-wise, I don't, I don't think that's ever been a problem for him. Uh, jokes, I don't think he, he runs short of jokes ever. Um, he's not a man. I mean, he likes to talk, as you guys know. So, um, no, it's, it's, I think the biggest, the biggest adjustment is going to be, you know, the potential of stepping into a full-time role now, right, where there's teams game plan for you, you have more film on uh, out there, and, and so there's – there's uh, it's a, it's an adjustment, and there's a there's a toughness piece that comes with that. Where you there's more of a chance for for good plays, yes, but there's more of a chance for for some plays you want back as well for bad plays, and you have to know then through the course of the game, adjusting to that is a little bit different as a full time player, game to game, or even within the game than a part time player. Yeah, um, you know, we get great weather here, uh, great weather for golf, great weather for, you know, nice uh, nights on the deck, and, and I really appreciate that, but uh, it, it is nice to feel it, uh, the heat ramp up a little bit for us, and, and that's why we also condition at the end of practice when we feel like we need to, to get us acclimated as much as we can. Um, so we'll be going down south for a couple games there, as you mentioned, Adam, and I think that's, you know, we got to have our team ready to go, not just for that, but I think what we try and do is use a benchmark of a, you know, no huddle offense, no huddle defense. Can you run the no huddle? Can you defend the no huddle the first week of the season? Um, you know, so, and we could see that this year. Sure. Uh, he'll be working uh, out there in some in some capacity. I can't tell you what exactly and how far that'll go, but uh, he will be getting back out there today a little bit. You guys, good. All right, thanks. Thank you.